Hi, if you're just joining our channel, welcome. I'm Kirsten. And I'm Ty. And this is our home sweet dome, our homestead in northern Georgia. Um, so our plan is to build a, um, a small dome and then a big dome. And, and we're ordering them from Pacific Domes. Um, just in the comments, we'll leave their website and all their information. They have been so awesome to work with so far, offering us a lot of advice, even about things that aren't actually um, domes that they sell. So uh, I give them a big thumbs up already. They're, they're great to work with. Mm -hmm. So we're at the property today, um, obviously. We're going to be doing some uh, leveling out where, where the shed is going to go. Uh, so we just need to take care of that and uh, be cutting some firewood because uh, there's a tree that's in the way. So uh, we need to get that out of the way. And yeah, so yeah. Just... And we have to build a fire, which last week was super easy because everything is so dry. But it rained a lot this week, so now it's being a little tricky. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we're gonna get that going and get to work. That's my beautiful wife getting the fire going. Took a lot to get it this time. We need to get the chainsaw going here soon. Uh, I just want to get this going so we have something. And you know, I made a whole bunch of fire starters at, and they're at home <laughs> <laughs> where they can't help us. But I think we got it now. So I'm going to put a little bit bigger on and then I'll get the chainsaw going. So, last week we had a lot of difficulty with this, but everything is going to go smooth as can be this week. Nice story. Give it to it. Oh, yeah, I put the I put the choke in now. So we just pulled up to the um, Airbnb we're staying in tonight, and this is an 1800s cabin, and it's so cool. So Ty's inside because there's this dog of the of the place who is guarding our front door. You're so nice. Are you a nice doggy? But look at how cool this is. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to take you inside and sneak in through the door so that our dogs don't get out. Oops, here we go. And this is the inside. Oh, I'm not, I don't know how to do it. So we come inside and wood burning stove. This place is so old that you can see through the walls. Isn't that cool? 
<laughs> but they do have modern heaters and it's got electricity apparently because we've got these um so <laughs> um so, so awkward on camera oh geez so um they did add a modern kitchen and um new bathroom and sh really nice shower so so they made the the modern things that we really need the most i guess and then left everything else with the with the so with they left the stuff that's old that's good to still have in a place like this so it's so cool and um how many square feet is it ty 475 475 square feet so this will this will help us know whether we can handle um living in such a small space i'm sure we can but um this is so cool show where the books are at up there in the yeah. in the <laughs> <laughs> so then we go upstairs and i already had a little trip didn't fall but it was close um going on these stairs they're very narrow um and it goes around here to the loft and this is really cool i mean look at this look at the walls that is so neat you coming up too tevi So cool. And so this is where we're going to be staying tonight. I love it. So cool. Oh, oh. <laughs> she's just barking at that dog like nobody's business. Hey, friends. So we're up at the property again today. And change of plans. You're probably going to hear this a bit. <laughs> um, we spent all that time yesterday clearing this area over here and now that it's clear it's on quite a bit of a slope so we've started looking around the property and we're gonna put the shed up close to where we parked the truck and then and that way it'll be a lot more accessible as well um, and then we started thinking about where we're putting the dome and we walked over to where the big dome is going to be, and now we've decided we're going to do the big dome first. We're just jumping. Yeah, head so first. We, we decided we'll do the big dome first. Um, you know, that way would give us a year or two to get the small dome up for guests and everything. But we'll be living here uh, when the girls graduate, so I'd like to have the big dome up first, uh, get, get a move on that. Yeah. So. Change yeah. plans, but it's we're going to be changing plans a lot, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think the key is flexibility, and you're probably going to hear that many times. So, guys, we changed our plans. <laughs> <laughs> so, we got a lot of work to do again. Mm -hmm. So, better get to it, huh? Yep, let's do it. So, I tightened my saw blades and um, just sharpened them. And so I am ready to get going on this new area that we've decided on. Whoops, I guess I got to go this way. This is where we're going to put the shed. <laughs> Finally. So um, Ty is over there. I'm going to flip it. Um, Ty's over there clearing this area as much as he can with um, these tools. And I'm going to get going with the chainsaw just in about a minute. I'm filming you. So Ty just shoveled a half a ton of gravel. And even though that little pile doesn't look that big, it's certainly heavy. When they put it in the truck, it, it dropped down like a foot. And we're probably going to need like, I don't know, 20 ton more, but we'll have to have it delivered by a big truck. 
this will be enough to give us our foundation for the shed though, hopefully. How you feeling right now, Ty? Yeah. You're doing a great job. Go, Ty. So we did a lot of work today and um, I think that we are going to pack it up and go home because I am exhausted. Yeah, I'm tired so I'm ready to go home and have some dinner. Um, yes. Yeah, but we got a lot done. I'm really proud of us for this weekend. Uh, I think we'll get a lot done next weekend. Just keep moving. We'll see you next Sunday. Bye.